magicians use methods that are underhanded. This next magician is from Australia, so she uses methods that are down underhanded. Take a look. In Australia, everybody has a kangaroo in their backyard. I've grown up with magic. My dad's a very well-respected magician in Australia, so I've grown up with it. And we've been working together now for about 36 years. I heard some of my dad's friends talking one night about the water torture escape. And I, of course, piped up and said, hang on a minute, I could do anything as good as what you could do. And there was no turning back. I was the first woman in the world to perform Houdini's water torture escape. That was a good feather in my cap. I have two tricks that are unique. No one else in the world is doing them. This is Australia versus Vegas, and it's on. Please say good day to Helen Coglin. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to show you a trick which is the only one of its kind in the world. This, of course, makes it unique. I'm using a glass, also a plastic tube. On each end of the tube are two caps. And you'll notice that these caps have a hole right in the centre. Now, the reason for these holes will become obvious in just a moment. I'll take the glass and fill it with milk. Oh, fill it right up to the top, to about there is fine. Cover the glass. But I'd like to show you or mention to you that the glass completely fills the tube and there is no gap between the glass and the tube for any sneaky little business. Place the top cap on. Now, if I took a solid copper rod and told you I could push this rod all the way through the glass of milk, you might think that was impossible. But we all know with magic that sometimes the impossible is actually possible. Take that right out the other end. Take the top cap off. Take off the tube. And all I can say is cheers. Thank you. Now, because I have come all the way from Australia, I thought I'd give you two tricks for the price of one. And the next trick is also one of a kind. It's actually a trick using my grandfather's old tennis racket. He doesn't use it anymore. He's dead. <laughs> now, I hope you don't mind, but I'd like to take the liberty at this point to rewrite the rules. And let's agree that if even one of these two tricks fools you, I still get to take home the trophy. I'll take that okay. as a yes. Alison, can you please give me a hand with this trick? Sure. Would you please like to make sure it's empty? Show everybody that there's nothing yep. in the cover. I'll show everybody the racket. You happy with that? Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, with this trick, there is just a word of warning. Don't blink, or you'll miss it. Yeah. Game, set, and match. Thank you. Oh, Helen Coughlin! That's incredible! Oh, wow! It was wow. so quick. I'm glad I didn't blink. I'm glad it worked. Yes. <laughs> so... You've been doing magic for, for how long? Oh, pretty much for all my life. My dad's a magician, um, Arthur Coglin. He's a very well-respected magician in Australia. So I've grown up with magic. And did you come up with this trick or did you and your father? Dad came up with that trick. So uh, that's why it's one of a kind. So yeah. did your dad come with you tonight? He did. Mum and dad <gasps> and my daughter oh. have made the trip from Australia. Yay! Right. Do you think you'll fool Penn and Teller? Yes. Yes. I like your confidence. How come? Well, for this, to start with, this is the only one of its kind in the yeah. world, so they wouldn't have seen that, and hopefully they won't have figured out right. how to do it. <laughs> All right, I think it's time to check in with the dudes. Okay. Guys. All the way from Australia, 
Well, Helen, with your, your little tricks. Yep. Well, you gave us two tricks. Then you came out and you kind of framed the tennis racket thing kind of in an elastic way that kind of said we had to do both of them. And uh, I think I'll give you maybe a little bit of an idea of how one of them uh, might be done. One of them uh, did not fool us. The other one we're, we're kind of puzzling about. Um, uh, yeah, there's two tricks. Uh, well, the one trick we got. We got one trick. Okay. Uh, no problem on that. Uh, <laughs> would you like a sketch on how the one trick is done? Because we have that one. We could, we could get that built right today we got one there's no and we'd like to tell you we'd like to change the rules right now and say if we figured out one of them i think we figured out but no deal we thought we thought maybe uh that the 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 milk thing had a little gasket in the bottom but then the wand came out dry and that bugged us and then we thought you had a little channel in the center of it. But we saw the overhead shot, and it was milk all the way across. And that bugged us. <laughs> so let's get back to the tennis racket. <laughs> no, 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 no. We got let's you, stick with the milk. Let's we got you it. nailed on the tennis racket thing. So we think we would like to give you half a trophy. <laughs> This is television, and you came all the way from Australia. We were going to give it, but the tennis racket. Can we tell you, brothers and sisters, to fool us? The tennis racket did not fool us. That fooled us. Nice to know.